Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our next great deal. This is in Madisonville. This is a single family home. It is four bedrooms, two full baths with off street parking. As you see there, that's my car there in the driveway. Um, it's a brick house. Let me take a quick look around the neighborhood. You can see a string of really incredibly fixed up houses there down the block. Across the street is the old railroad right, right of way. And next door there, you see an apartment building, but it's not a scary apartment building. It's actually extremely, extremely well maintained. So let's take a look at the back here. There's nothing really new to see here but I'd just like to show these things for the sake of completeness. This house needs a lot of work. Uh, it kind of needs everything touched. Uh, so this is not for the, the new kid or the faint of heart or anything like that. This needs a full-blown, full-on rehab. So let's go inside and I'll start cataloging the horrors. So this is the view through the front door. Um, the Everything is just in miserable cosmetic shape like this. Uh, believe it or not, there were people living in here uh, about a week ago. Um, the I don't want to get into that. Um, it, it's a little it's a little shocking, but yes, there there were human beings occupying this dwelling, uh, and the whole house is in this kind of shape. Uh, there is a set of stairs up to the second floor that we'll actually get to. Um, that is the second set of stairs, or the first one, but there's another one. Oh, uh, the, these are all taped up, but they're uh, final replacement windows everywhere, so that's a good thing. Here's the first bathroom. You can see, again, that kind of chipboard floor that's down over everything. Um, this shower surround that's just vinyl and crappy and horrible. So figured that everything needs new everything. Um, that is the door we just passed is a bedroom that we'll actually come back to and analyze. This should be a kitchen. It is enormous. Um, it's a gigantic room. It's in terrible shape. I'm just going to stop harping on that because the whole house is in terrible shape. Uh, but obviously this could be a really cool kitchen. There's the entrance to the basement that, again, we'll, we'll get to when we get through everything else. And back here is another bedroom. So this is a better one we're going to keep, the middle one we're going to do away with. But I, just looking at all that, all that pseudo patching that someone spent time and effort on to just no avail whatsoever kind of breaks my heart a little bit. But their loss is your gain. Uh, so let's go ahead and call that bedroom number one. Now we walk back through the ginormous kitchen and into this thing that got converted into a bedroom uh, but it should be, pardon me while I fool around with my light for a second, so you can actually see this room. I would open this up completely. I would just blow this out uh, and make like a common kitchen and dining area space instead of trying to turn this back into a formal dining room. Uh, open floor plans or the hotness. Uh, so I would, you know, demo a lot of this and just turn it into one big area um, and design just really a kick-ass kitchen to kind of go with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back through the kitchen again and to this back set of stairs that you can see are kind of a mess down there. Here's the view from the top. And now up here you can see they've taken up, oh, these are just pine floorboards, and they've taken up a zillion of them and the reason they, I, I've actually done this myself, and there's obviously a roof issue there. The blue tarp outside didn't clue you in. Um, they were rewiring. So they, they, sometimes it's easier just to take up the old floorboards. Here's what should be the second full bath there. Uh, the difference is when I did it, I then rewired the house and put them back. And they haven't done that step. So we walk through this bedroom into... Um, having to be careful with my footing here, into this middle bedroom and normally go, oh, wow, it's a walk-through bedroom. But that's not the case here, and it's not the case for a couple reasons. One, if I walk over to the extreme side here and show you that, those doorways pretty close to line up. So you could actually build a hallway there so this was a discrete bedroom and still have a good-sized bedroom. The second reason is that's the stairway that we saw when we came in. So you do not, in fact, have to walk through any room to get to all the bedrooms upstairs. So there we have it, and here is bedroom number four. We are going to call it, 
and they will, pardon me, will I ignore my phone? Uh, the You've got four legitimate bedrooms, even when you take apart the one that should be a dining room or a dining area anyway. So uh, obviously it needs just massive patching and painting and drywall and flooring and, you know, the all the wiring has largely just been roughed in, blah, blah, blah. So there's, there's a lot going on there. I'm not... I don't want to beat this up too much because, you know, there's no point in that. But I want to stress the point that if you've done like one rental turnover, this isn't the deal for you. But if you can handle this scale of project, this is a money maker. Um, let me fight with this one a little bit too and get my light on. And as we go down the basement stairs, you'll see that the bottom two stairs here have actually kind of come to pieces. So I'm going to sort of finesse my way down onto here going will that hold up a drew will that hold a drew you know what let me just take the plunge and hit the floor like that so i'll a quick look around the basement well, well click, quick look at the horror of those stairs uh stone foundation we have so you see a replacement guest for stair furnace right there against the wall that the owner brought in, but that ain't new, and I just save it for a rental or something. There's the old non-high efficiency sitting right there that he was intending to replace. And we take a look around, you know, stone foundation. There is plumbing here. It's all PEX. That's good. Interesting, the water heater looks like a fairly recent install, but you can see it's all banged up. I don't know if they got it at like a scratch and dent sale or something. And because it looks like a new install, but the water heater looks beat to death. So a good view of some of the new pecs there. And oh, the, yeah, I want to show you that. Uh, the, the exhaust should not have to go down to escape the house. Uh, luckily, the people who lived here probably showered so rarely that they weren't in danger of killing themselves with the exhaust of the uh, water heater. But yeah, when you replace that water heater, that should be corrected. This makes my heart go pitter-pat. Look at that nice, brand new power panel. 150 amp circuit breakers, plenty of switch spaces, professionally installed, a new radio meter. Oh, that just, there's finally something good to say. And lots of new wiring, right? New Romex, I'm digging that. New plumbing. All the, all the pecs is there. So not everything is a downside. Um, so here's the summation. Uh, we're selling this house for $19,900. It's going to take, obviously, a good bit of money to turn all of this around. Um, but when you're done, this is a retailable property, right? When you go in and, and dump the kind of money that it's going to take to make this nice again, on the other side of it, you're going to have an actual profit from an actual retail deal. And finally, for those of you who are longtime viewers, something like this that is not on the west side of town. Madisonville is super hot, so if you do the right job on this house, this is going to turn into a very tidy profit for you. So hit me for details. Uh, text me, preferentially email or me or call me. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you about it. I'm happy to show it to you. I'm happy to just give you a lockbox number and turn you loose. Uh, but get a hold of me because this is something, this is going to make a great winter project for someone. So get a hold of me sooner rather than later, and we'll see if we can make something happen here. Thank you for your attention.